Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. The hair, not as bad as usual, um, but it's about 5.30 on Saturday, and I just woke up. Actually, I woke up around 5.00. And I came down and put all the decorations away from our game night last night. I highly recommend this game. I'm leaving it linked below. We loved it. We still have two other paths to solve, which we're really excited. And what's cool is it's already ready to go. So you just open it, set your timer. It was so much fun and just like a perfect evening. We really liked it. So I highly recommend it be an awesome Christmas gift. I'm gonna go catch up on YouTube comments, all of that stuff. I'm gonna be the first YouTuber to ever say this. I am so happy that the views for day four were down because that means people disconnected. Um, I didn't answer a comment. I haven't been on Instagram. Actually, I was on Instagram when I woke up this morning because I wanted to get ahead of that. But um, yeah, I'm so happy the views were down because that means that people disconnected because the views have been amazing for Vlogmas. Um, keep doing all the things, giving it a thumbs up, sharing it, um, commenting, those things help, so please keep doing them. So I did film a little bit last night, so I'm gonna cut away that footage while I do that. I'm going to have some coffee and ease into sound. In the background, you hear a playlist of royalty-free music that I have paid for. And Steven and I are looking at our escape room. We have like a spread of just snacks. What do you think? It's great. It's, I, I love it. I love the, the idea. I didn't even know that it was on the advent of how kind this calendar. So what did you do today? So I took a quiz at work uh, from Best Friends Animal Society, which is an animal rescue group. And they tried to match you with one of the pets in their shelter based on your holiday preferences and their holiday preferences, supposedly. So I was matched to a cat named Princess Thor, who doesn't really like Christmas <laughs> and tells people to tone it down and prefers to stay in her, her enclosure <laughs> and just mind, their own, mind her own business. What kind of questions were you asked? Like, what does, uh, where does a Christmas sweater belong on a dog? Uh, on a small dog to keep it warm, uh, on you so that you can cuddle a rabbit, on a horse in a field to keep it warm. Like You picked horse in a field to keep it warm. I picked small dog to keep it warm. Oh. Like, uh, what would you, uh, it basically was like, what, what are your holiday preferences? And they matched you with the pet. So basically, you don't like Christmas. <laughs> that was the pet that I was matched with. Princess Thor! It was, it was a nice, I think it was like a, it looked like a tiger cat. No, we're not getting a cat. Would you like a cat? We are just finishing dinner and then we're gonna start our escape room. It's actually really cool. So the storyline is, first of all, let me tell you, it is already completely prepped for you. So when you open it, like your timer starts. So the storyline is basically that there's like this scientist werewolf that's coming after us and we need to like basically solve these clues and there are multiple paths we can take. And then it gives you like a hint. So we need paper and a pencil and an ice cube at some point and a flashlight potentially. And then it gives you some tips and tricks. So Steven and I are done eating dinner. I think we're gonna sit here at the kitchen table and get started. I'm really excited. I think it's really cool that it is like set up, ready to go. And yeah, we're just gonna have fun tonight. Alexa, set timer for 90 minutes. One hour and 30 minutes, starting now. Oh, I think it's the stop sign. I think it goes like this. Mm -hmm. It tends to be each answer, you will never need them all. All right, let's go octagon. I think it's octagon. I am that witch. I am that witch is, is born of darkest black. Pressure creates me. It is no attack. 
is me. It, it is. It is no attack. I can join two souls. Diamond. Wheatley, Bronte, Jacobs, Shelley, David. So that's a C. Wheatley. Wheatley, Austin, Jacobs. Jacobs. David. R. What's on there? Numbers. This has shapes. Oh. Octagon. I got it. Do that again. Four, five. We already cleaned up all the food, which we barely ate any of it, so it'll be there for dinner tomorrow. And now we're gonna find a movie to watch, right? I am getting ready to go for a run. I usually can only get my runs in on the weekend just because it's a little bit harder for me on the weekday. I am going to try a little bit harder this week to get it in, but a lot of you have been asking about um, cold weather running gear, particularly last weekend when I posted. It's 32 degrees. I'm gonna be honest with you, I can't wear like coats when I run, so I go with, and I'll leave things linked for you, because I know a couple of you are runners. I prefer a vest. I like my arms to be free. I did find, however, the best running gloves by the North Face. I love them. They also allow you to touch your screen and your watch and everything while you're running. I love them so much. And then they clip together. So I don't know about you, I'll start running and be really cold, but by the second, third mile, I'm like warm. So I like to be able to take them off and clip them together and stick them in my pocket so I know they're a little bit more secure and together. My other favorite hat is I've tried the running hats that are like the thinner nylon and they never ever seem to keep me warm enough. So I do really like this really thin knit by uh, Lululemon. Usually if I'm wearing this, I'm not gonna sweat that much, but if I do it, I just rinse it out and kind of hand wash it as soon as I get home. Brooks does not make the prettiest shoes, but the Brook Ricochet, my favorite shoe. Running is the only time that I pick function over like beauty or style. But Brooks has really helped my knees. Um, as you know, I do have a knee issue. I've ran a couple half marathons. February of this year, I dislocated my knee. So I'm getting back into running, building up my mileage. I'm probably gonna do about three or four miles. It'll be a great way to start the weekend. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's my cold weather running gear. And of course, I have my Apple AirPods Pros, are these, are these the, I think they're the Pros? I don't even know. I, they're Apple AirPods to me. And I'm going to listen to Miley Cyrus's new album, Plastic Hearts, because it is like a rock and roll album, and I really like it. So, I'll see you after my run. I am back from my run. <laughs> yes, this is another Lululemon <laughs> sweatshirt in just a different color. On my run though, I had the coolest experience. Let me show you. Look at this. I just came across this on my run. This is why I love where I live. Isn't this amazing? Have a good day. I won't hurt you. Have a good day. Have a good day. I hope you find lots of food. If you don't, come by the house. Oh, that's amazing. It was so great to just get outside. I love running in the cold weather. Today on the Advent of Kindness, day five, is to volunteer or give your time or money or donate to a local food bank. So I am currently waitlisted at Food Link here in our community. It's a place where I volunteered before. However, with COVID-19, they're being really strict with volunteers, so I'm actually waitlisted. <laughs> and I checked again this morning and I'm still waitlisted. So I'm going to go ahead and make a donation. Our community is actually getting pretty hit by COVID right now. So it might be best to give money and stay safe and keep others safe. So 
I'm gonna do that and then I'm actually going to do the quick kitchen update. As you know, right as COVID was striking, I'd actually vlogged it. Steven and I were really thinking about redoing our kitchen. We picked out soapstone, we went to the countertop place, I had the backsplash chosen, we had the island slab chosen, we had actually picked out all the finishes um, except for a couple of the appliances we were adding and then uh, COVID hit and we kind of postponed it and with further reflection, we've really been talking lately and it seems so nonsensical to do when there's so many other things in our world to worry about. So we're going to keep it as is. I am definitely thinking, and I've seen our granite honed before in a couple pictures and I really like the way the light granite looks honed. It brings out a really natural look. So I have reached out to a couple people to see if they would could hone our granite while it's been installed just to take off the gloss. I haven't heard back from them yet, but maybe I'll reach out again this week. So that's what we're thinking about doing. And other than that, I'm just gonna make some updates to it because it seems nonsensical to spend the money on an already beautiful kitchen. So with that, you guys saw some of my ideas for the kitchen just to give it a little bit of a facelift and just have some fun with it and bring a little bit more character into it. And the one thing I wanna do is add a little bit of gold. If you watched yesterday's vlog, I told you that I'm really big on mixing metals. So the metals I wanna mix in here are clearly the stainless steel, the gold, cause I have gold hardware, and I also wanna add a pop of black. And I said work in triangle, so have it repeated three places. So I'm actually replacing all of the perimeter hardware. It's a lot, it's like 55, uh, pieces of hardware today, so it's gonna take a while. I'm gonna re be replacing all the white hardware with black, it's the exact same style. All of these will stay gold, so I need to repeat colors in three sections. Stainless steel is covered, the black will be picked up in the black hardware, my black light fixtures, my black chairs, lanterns, the side table, and the reading nook, so black is covered. Then I was thinking of the gold, so I have the gold hardware here. I have the gold in my faucet. I needed gold somewhere else, and I found this metallic. It really looks like, almost like metal flashing. And I'm going to add it. I've seen a lot of hoods and details around hoods that have really cool trim. So I'm actually going to add that gold piece right here. And I'm really excited about it. I think it's gonna look amazing. I just finished, I love it. When we get the new black on these cabinets, it's gonna look so good. It legit looks like metal flashing. It looks, I love it. It's really high quality. I got it on Amazon, I'll leave it linked down below. It was by a company called, I think, Very Berry, but it's the exact detail I wanted there. It's a little character. I'm pumped. Are you ready for some enthralling content on this Saturday? Guess what I'm doing? This is what you've signed up for. Get ready. I'm cleaning the kitchen cabinets. So what I realized, friends, is I thought I would be able to take off all the gold hardware when the black hardware comes. Also, look how good that little piece of gold trim looks there. But I can't because our cabinets don't sit on the front um, like molding. If you look, all of my drawers actually go into the cabinet are in, are encased, so I wouldn't be able to open them. I mean, it's a beautiful feature because it keeps them really flush and nice, but I realized if I would have taken off all the hardware, I would not have been able to get into the doors or my cabinets. I would have had to like stick something in and pry it open. So I have to do cabinet by cabinet when the hardware comes. So I will tell you how I wipe down my cabinets and I'll kind of let you know the frequency. My white perimeter cabinets, I love my kitchen. It doesn't need redone at all. I also have deodorant on the counter from my run. Uh, but my white perimeter cabinets, I do the first or second week of every single month and do like a deep clean and then spot clean them throughout the weeks or when something gets on them. I will tell you I love white cabinets. It makes your kitchen look so open and beautiful, but they are a pain to keep clean. Then, like I said, once or twice a month, I do all 
my cabinetry in my kitchen, even this, the dark ones. And I'll tell you what you guys don't often see because I never show my island that much, but it's actually really detailed with like moldings. So you have to get into like all of these crevices and clean them, but it's all molded out. They did such a beautiful job with it, but it's a pain to clean. But now it's done. I did my floors really quick with my steam mopper. I love my steam mop. I'll leave the one that I've used for the last three years linked down below. But now this is clean. When the new hardware arrives today, I'll be able to get it on. I think the black on the perimeter is going to look so sharp. I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to contrast beautifully. And I think it's just going to be killer. All right. I'm going to get my stools wiped down because they need wiped down as well do my countertops, make sure everything is nice and clean. That gold metal on the hood or above the hood is, it's exactly what I wanted it to look like. I'm really excited. Oh, also, how do, you guys are all going to ask, what do I use to clean my cabinets? I actually just fill up my sink. And what I do is, I've talked about these so many times on my channel too. So I'll leave the set that I buy, link down below. They're e-cloths. So I use this scrubber one because it just does such a good job and then you just throw it in the washing machine. But I use a little bit of dish soap and white distilled vinegar to do my cabinets. The dish soap really cuts down on the grime and the white distilled vinegar leaves like a nice sheen on your cabinets that I really like. So that's how I clean my cabinets. I just fill up my sink. Now I'll wipe out my sink, wipe down my counters and the kitchen will be all nice and clean. Another one of the e-cloths that I love is the stainless steel one. I got them all in a set, but you literally just wet it. And that's what I've been using for my appliances. And look how shiny and like streak free they are. They look so good. I just wipe them down with water and on the e-cloth. I love it. All right. Kitchen is clean for when the hardware comes. I think it's gonna make a huge difference. I fell asleep this afternoon and my cabinet hardware came. I bought four inch ones and I need five inch. Ugh. Ugh. So I have to return all these and order the five inch ones. Whoops. I swore I measured it. Maybe I just clicked on the wrong one. I feel like Vlogmas has gotten so far away from me today. I mean, I've slept forever. Pour some sugar on me. Oh, it's five. Oh, I think these are the birthday cake ones. All right, so many questions about the cookie advent calendar. All right, Rebecca's gonna have to ship these next year. So, Baron Bakes, Rebecca lives in Texas and she does most, well, she does local sales. Because I'm her bestie, she mailed me one of these. They're already sold out. Um, she doesn't ship them usually, but for me, of course, her bestie, we have a coffee date tomorrow, she would of course ship it for me. Oh my, they just get better and better. Wait till you all see this one. I might actually make a cup of coffee and enjoy that cookie. Well, that's heating up. Let's go into the dining room. It's, uh, the, the snow is supposed to arrive today and it has, it is starting. It is starting to snow, you really can't see it yet. Aww. I told you guys this is like a little Santa's workshop North Pole one and it's an elf. Put them right there. Ooh. My elf has been drinking because it doesn't, he doesn't really want to stand up. <laughs> we got him to stand. I thought he was a little tipsy at first. And we got the goat milk hand and body wash. We got another candle. We got the fir tree candle. It smells so good. I love this mug. I picked this up last Vlogmas when we went on that ski trip. If you all remember, we went to Ellicottville, New York. I surprised Steven and rented this big log house. We got a car stuck. It was an adventure, but we went for a long weekend. We are just talking about that. 
see Vlogmas usually has like little trips and stuff like that. It's just gonna be different this year. I'm so glad I took a nap. My body clearly needed it. I want you guys to see the snow though. It's really starting to come down. Yay. I love it. Mm hmm. Did you? No, I was watching Star Wars and I started Star Wars. You didn't take a nap? No. And I took a nap? Not yet. You can't take a nap now. Why not? Like, it's like three o'clock. Perfect. Go do your business. He's <laughs> a snowflake right between his eyes. He doesn't like this weather. See, it makes him sneeze. <laughs> Come on, go do your business. Go do business. They come inside. Go do business. What do you mean he doesn't like this weather? He doesn't like the wet weather. He likes the cold weather, but he doesn't like getting wet and snowy. Oh, you all snowy. What was Hattie that came? I or up, oh, get ready for it. Guess what? I ordered the wrong size. Oh my god. No, well, I've already ordered the right size. I needed five inch and I bought two small of ones. Oh. Apparently, oh. this is our nephew. According to my sister, who has a newborn, and this is the one-year-old. This, the, this child. <laughs> this child. This child. This child who's born will not stop saying her name and the baby's name. She deals with this twenty-four-seven. She says. I guess he got tired and went to sleep. So we're making tacos for dinner. Bubba Steven, Bubba Steven, Bubba Steven, Bubba Steven, Bubba Steven. So. Chef Steven is cooking and hopefully no fire department comes. I've made this. I have to make tacos, come on. It's the complicated thing, it's from Rachel Ray who I think has it in for me. Can you tell us the recipe? <laughs> the recipe is ground turkey, 98%, because if it's less than 98%, I don't like it. It's not, not good. Oops. Um, taco sauce. What's your recipe? Cheese. <laughs> and then for the finale, taco season. Wow. Original. Old okay, El Paso. Yeah. I used to live in El Paso. Not old El Paso, I lived in New El Paso. El Paso. <laughs> I was passe in El Paso. Recipe El Paso. Anyway, I lived in El Paso and I never had a taco, I don't think in El Paso. Did I? Probably not. I never made tacos in El Paso. But now I'm making them in New York. So. But now you know the recipe. Now I know the recipe. All right, for the tea calendar. Are we five already? Yep. Oh, it's dark tea. Chocolate chili chai. This is, I think you would like this. It's like a spicy, there's chocolate and chili peppers in here. Ooh. Do you want your advent calendar, Bubby? No. You have to find day five though. Ooh. Oh, don't eat it over the box. It was so messy. Friends, today was a low-key day. It was sleeting and snowing all day long. Yeah, it was just a gross day. And the kitchen would have been a fun thing had I ordered the right stuff. But I didn't, <laughs> and that's okay. Uh, someone did actually message me and ask me to link the hardware. I'll go ahead and link that for you as well. And hopefully the right one is here on Monday. But we are going to wrap it up like we wrap up every vlog. And I'm going to have Steven close it out. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and have a good day. I, I forgot. And what? What? Kindness is free. Oh, kindness is free. Give it to ev everyone. Until next time which will be tomorrow.
by 